Here we go, another pallet unboxing. Today we've got four very large boxes, 20 by 16 by 16. We've got Amazon customer return, liquidation, toys, collectibles, other goodies. This is gonna be a good, good four boxes. I got a good feeling about this. So stay tuned, let's get into these bad boys. start this off would you please go ahead right now and click the subscribe button we've got a lot of content coming at you and give you a heads up right now this Friday I've got a awesome electronics Amazon customer return liquidation palette unboxing this Friday night not only that but I'm doing a giveaway on this channel my first ever giveaway I'm going to be giving away stuff from previous palette unboxing you've seen on this channel some good stuff totally free so check that out this coming friday night an electronics liquidation palette that i paid over four hundred dollars for for over two thousand dollars of value it's going to be i got a feeling it's going to be an awesome palette i paid up for this thing over 20 percent of retail more than what i usually pay for these palettes so I got a good feeling, hopefully. But giveaway this Friday night. Don't miss this video. So these four boxes, the MSRP of all four boxes, if everything's brand new, is $1,702. Not bad. That just, if everything's brand new. It's not as customer returns. What I actually paid was a total of $121.11. So I got it under 10%. Pretty good. So I'm gonna to try to turn my 121 into let's say 400 bucks. Let's see if we can do it. I got a good feeling. I think I should be able to do this because I got it for a very good price. People are gonna ask what would I pay in shipping? No shipping costs. I buy from a local liquidated or liquidation broker. So I pick up all of my pallets, my boxes myself. So I pay no shipping charges. If you're getting into liquidated products, buy locally. Pick them up yourself because shipping this stuff across the country is expensive and it cuts into your profit. So you do not want anything to take away from your potential profit. That's the last thing that you want to do because we want to make money and have fun. First box. So we'll be selling all items from these boxes on eBay, on Amazon, in my resale shop, this looks pretty good. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, let me show you this one. First box. Right there on top, I see a collectible action figure right on top. <laughs> Already we're having fun. Let's pull this thing out first. That's, wow, that is so cool. Look at this. Looks like it's brand new in the package. Iron Man Legends series, Marvel Studios, the first 10 years action figure that is really cool let me look this up first thing right off the bat and it is a cool collectible toy <laughs> this is going to be a good palette sells brand new on amazon for 25 dollars we'll take it first thing 25 bucks right out of the gate I paid basically $120 for this, all four boxes is what I paid. First thing is $25. And it is a cool collectible toy. Awesome. Next thing, it's our first baby item, but this baby item right here sells all day long for around $30 to $35. It's a bubble gum, little baby seat booster for your car. It is a hot seller. I sell these things like crazy. So first two things we're talking over 50 bucks right there keep going okay. Ooh, pieces are loose but we got monopoly ultimate banking so obviously I'll have to count the pieces in this game make sure it's all there um, and if it's all there I might have to keep this game because I've got the old school monopoly still with the money it might be kind of fun to keep this with like the digital. This has like the like the credit cards and stuff. But I think this thing sells used for about 20, 
20 to 25 bucks if it's all there. So if I keep it, if not, maybe 20 bucks if, if, if it's complete. So first three things, we're talking maybe $70. This is good. Next, a leapfrog. Which one is this? Preschool through first grade leapfrog book. Another item that sells for around 20 to $25. I sell this thing all the time when I get it in the liquidations. It is an easy fast sell. Oh man. Looks to be still factory packaged up. <laughs> Beautiful. So first, I'll get back in the box later. First, first three things, we're talking upwards of maybe $90 to $100. First, or four things, I can't even count. First four things. We're doing good. Next, Tokato. Whoa. The back of this thing is completely destroyed though. Look at that. Looks like somebody got mad at it and took a foot to it and curb stomped it. This looks like some kind of collectible game. A lot of these fancy games like this can get kind of expensive, but this thing is thrashed. Let me see how much this thing actually sells for. I have never sold Tokato. Kaido, but this is probably a collectible, like a more ex expensive board game. Give me one second. Well, this thing sells new for around forty dollars, new, but uh, yeah, this thing is thrashed. So I'd be lucky to even get half for this thing. More likely, I'll probably just put this into my shop for like ten dollars. See if I can get ten bucks out of it. But anyway. It's like a $40 game, but it's totally thrashed. Next, Star Trek Five Year Mission, a cooperative game for seven to three to seven crewmates. That's pretty nifty. That's probably another $15, $20 game right there. I'll have to count all the pieces, make sure it's all there. But yeah, we're getting a lot of cool toys and collectibles in this one. All the Star Trek fans out there, We'll buy stuff like this up like that. It'll be gone in no time. Next, pull out another baby item. Dr. Brown's Microwave Steam Sterilizer. Oh, this is probably about a $25 item. Depends on if it's new or used. And it's new, more than likely. I'll have to look at it a little closer after this video, but about a $25 item on eBay. Not bad. Next, we have a baseball glove, a Mizuno catcher's mitt. If you don't know baseball gloves, some baseball gloves can get extremely expensive. Mizuno is one of the, like one of the top brands to buy. This glove might be kind of expensive, and it looks like it's possibly maybe like just tried on. It's like new. Let me look up this model number. Let me see if I can find anything on it. Is model number GXC75, a 34 inch glove. Let me look this thing up. This might be expensive. Be right back. Okay. This glove retails new for about 80 bucks. $80 catcher's, uh, catcher's mitt. That's good. But it is in, honestly, it's like like new condition. I could probably easily get for this thing like 55 to 60 bucks all day for that glove. So right now, the first like nine things out of this box, I've already got all my money back and I'm in profit already. That is awesome. Next thing, we got another brand new toy. It is a Animagic Feed and Care Pets. See right there? That's probably at least a 10 or $15 toy right there. It's still brand new in its original box. It just has a Amazon return, kind of like a poly thing over it to protect it from getting dirty during the liquidation process. But another brand new toy. And last thing in this box. Oh, it looks like this is a little attachment for a baby stroller for like put their cup in their food area. So I have to look this thing up. It's probably not a whole lot, like a $10 bill. So that's the first box right there. That was really good first box. Probably first box. That's easily probably about a $150 box. I will take that any day of the week, all day long. So, 
Favorite thing out of that first box though was actually the first thing we pulled out. This Iron Man toy collectible. That is awesome. Let's see what we got in box number two. So from actually from this point on, pretty much everything that I go through, everything I pull out, um, it's profit. And yes, nothing has actually sold yet. So uh, people always, you know, I've heard in the comment section many times that it's not actually profit until you, you actually sell it. Yes, I, I understand that. But as a reseller, you kind of know what things will sell for. And so you can kind of, you just know at what point you, you will be in profit in the near future after you sell items. So, ooh, looks pretty good too. I even see like an RC car in this one. Nice. First, like a little baby toy, little spinner Um, probably about five bucks. Next, we have a little, looks like a little bag, probably like a little mama bag. Uh, I'll probably take it out later. Now, if I put it in my shop, like five bucks. Next, we have a little, little baby in like a koala bear outfit or something. I'll have to research and figure out what brand this thing is. Go ahead and let me pull it out of the sack. That's what it looks like. I'm not sure what this thing's called. Anybody out there knows what brand this thing is or what this thing's called? Comment below in the description box or the the comment box. If you know what this thing is, like what the brand is, I don't know. I've never sold this toy before. It's like a hard plastic. Looks nice. I'm sure it takes batteries somewhere and it moves or talks or something, I bet. Probably has some value to it. Keep going. Let me pull out a few more things so I can get the RC car out. A Captain Floaty. Show you that. It's literally called Captain Floaty. Okay, so I'll have to research that too and see what exactly a Captain Floaty is. But I'm sure some kind of a float, like one of those, you know, fancy floats you see now, people going out on lakes or big like penguin looking float things, you know. Probably one of those things. Hey, those are like, what, $20, $30? So, profit going up, up, up in this. I will take it. Oh, here is some replacement uh, Dr. Brown things for baby bottles. Good dollar box item for my shop. Oh, what is that? Oh, awesome. You're about to see something really cool in the bottom of this box. There's like a very cool Marvel collectible toy of some kind. <laughs> I love my collectible kind of like my Marvel toys. Just hold on a sec. <laughs> we'll get to it. <laughs> Here's a baby multi-use pad. Looks to be brand new. It's still like factory folded. That's probably a good 10, 15 bucks right there at least. I have to do some more research afterwards, but that's probably that's probably more like fifteen dollars, I bet. Let's pull out this RC car, take a little glance at it. It is called a Rock Crawler Click and Play, built to last. Look at that cool toy. That is freaking awesome right there. I haven't got like an RC car out of a liquidation box. It's been a while. I used to get them quite, quite, quite a lot, but it's been a while. I think this thing's probably, I'd say it's at least probably 40 to 50 bucks. Looks to be, it's still factory sealed. Never been opened up, so I'd say probably about 40, 50 bucks right there. That is freaking fantastic. And okay, let me do this toy, and then we get to this cool Marvel collectible down there. Here's a little baby toy. Here's a hammer, blocks. That's probably my shop, about five bucks. Okay, that's awesome. RC car, and then what is this? It says it is a Marvel Titan Hero Titan Hero set. Let me see what let me get my knife. What is this?
Oh, no way! Look down in there! That is awesome! This looks like it is an entire set of Marvel like action heroes in the box. An entire set of toys. Are you serious? This thing can't be cheap at all. They're all brand new, still in the package. That is freaking awesome. There's your Spider-Man. Freaking Iron Man. There's my boy, Captain America. <laughs> that is awesome. Ant-Man. Groot. Wow. Awesome. There's Black Panther. This is awesome. Let me look this thing up real quick. This thing, I know it's got some value. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm such a big kid, I know, but that is so cool. Marvel Titan Hero, Titan Hero set. It's, it's, it's covered up by a label. Is there a Titan Hero set or series? Hold on. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, this is the Avengers Titan Hero Series 12 pack, action figures, Amazon exclusive. Sells for $110 new. Wow, that is freaking incredible. So this this thing right here is 110 bucks new. The box is lightly damaged. So this thing would easily bring probably 80 to 80 to 90 dollars at least, probably if not closer to 100 bucks for this thing right here. So just this and the rock crawler and the rest of the stuff in this box, this box right here, box number two is like a $200 box. So box one, box two is like 350 bucks. So I've already almost tripled my money back. <laughs> That's awesome. Collectible toys. So liquidation, you can get collectible toys like this. How crazy is that? This is so freaking awesome. This is why I love liquidations. Getting stuff like this and it's brand new still. So much fun. So hey, let me switch these out and let me box this back up. Let me bring up box number three. <laughs> Let's keep this going. This is awesome. Let's keep this going. Here we got box three. First two boxes were freaking fantastic. We're already at least double my money of what I paid for these three, or three, four boxes all together. Paid a hundred and, was it $21 for all four? So, <laughs> first two were fantastic. Let me show you the inside of this box three. Do you see what I see? <laughs> Do you see what I see? Box three. You see? <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I pulled out first Roblox. Everything here is loose. Guarantee it's probably missing pieces. Let's just go ahead and pull out <laughs> what I just showed you on camera. <laughs> Are you serious? We got another Marvel. This one actually doesn't have the label on it. Marvel Titan Hero Series. We got another one. <laughs> That's crazy. We <laughs> got another one. That's another It's another $100 bill right here. That is insane. And they're all still in the package again. Hi, Ant-Man. Where's Black Panther? Hi, Black Panther. Where's my boy? Hi, Captain America. This is fantastic. So box number three, we start out with another bang, don't we? Another $100 bill, or let's just say 90, just because it's not factory sealed. This actual box looks like it's a little bit better shape than the first one. So what did I say? This thing retailed. Oh, what did I say in box two? What did I say? It was like 110, 115, some something, something like that. I don't remember now. 110. So that's probably close to a hundred dollar bill right there. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, this was a. Uh, like toys and collectibles. We got some awesome collectibles in this one. I love it. So there is some a uh, few baby things in here. We've got a formula mixing pitcher. Ah, stuff popping out. Man, the uh, the child inside me right now is like 
having a blast with this liquidation. The child is like screaming, you know. That's probably good 10 bucks right there. Next, we got a Doctor's Brown Deluxe Bottle Warmer. I think this one's like 30 or 40 bucks. This is actually one of the more expensive bottle warmers. Ooh, looks like it's factory packaged still. I have to check it out a little bit closer. But this, this one's actually the steam. This is the fast warmer also. I think this is like 30, maybe 40 bucks right there. Awesome, so right here, with the Marvel, the two warmers, this is probably at least close to 140, 150 bucks right here with the first two boxes. Oh my goodness. I'd say we're easily pushing, let's just low ball us like right now, probably between like 550 to $600 of like of return right now of my original investment. This is, wow. So here is a, a model of Panzer, wow, Kampf, Kampfwagen 2. Obviously that must be a German tank from, I'm guessing, World War II. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not good at model, like uh, models prices. Maybe like $10 or so. I really don't know the, the prices of that. Here we go. Here's some more cool toys. It's missing one of the figures though, right there. There's like the, the, the band for it. You got Iron Man. Is that Iron Man? No, yeah. There's Iron Man. There is... That's another Iron Man, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hulk. Actually, yeah, it's missing Thanos, isn't it? There's the back of it. Food's supposed to be in it. But anyway, yeah, this, this is probably about a 10 probably $15 toy, but it is missing one of the figures, so I'll probably resale shop this for probably about $10 maybe 12 depending on how much it actually retails for i'll find out after this video is done but another cool toy sears tower 3d model kit and it's supposed to be metal interesting little kit right there maybe another let's just say five bucks haven't said that for a while next we've got a transformer that's the first transformer in this liquidation which this is the Transformer Rescue Bots, Optimus Prime. I've actually been working on my Optimus Prime voice now for several years, and I'm not very good at it. There was actually a time that I thought I was getting good at my Optimus Prime voice. <clears throat> Haven't done it for a while, but I am Optimus. Not on camera, it's gonna be bad, but. There was a time I was trying to learn, trying to get my Optimus Prime voice, but cool toy. I think it's, this sells new in stores like, it's like $10 or so, but uh, I'll probably resell shop that for like six or $8. Next we have a chat and count smartphone. Resell shop that for like five bucks. That's actually what it looks like. It's inside the package, like five bucks. About five bucks. Here is a, one of these dinner plates for a small child. Uh, kind of like a vinyl thing. Good dollar box item. Disney Baby Jack in the Box. You know what we've got to do with this, right? You know, live on camera. Oh. No. There it goes. I think it's defective. <laughs> Come on, Disney. Or come on, Mickey. I think it's defective. Some toys are defective. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, Mickey is defective. That's why this one got returned by a customer because Mickey is defective. It works, but as you saw, whenever I uh, twist the little um... come on Mickey yeah this thing is this thing is defective that uh, whenever I twist it it doesn't on it always you know play so this will go into my resale shop for probably about five bucks so it does like kind of work kind of not so if it doesn't sell for about five bucks It'll go into my dollar boxes eventually, but I'll give it a shot at about five bucks. Here we've got some kind of a baby 
Looks like a swaddle thing. Good dollar box item at my shop. Here's some kind of nifty. Brand new in the package. We've got a Super Wings transforming jet. It looks kind of like a knockoff from that one movie, whatever it's called. Whatever the movie's called. I'll probably resell shop this for about five bucks. Last thing in the third box, we just got a puzzle. Most puzzles, like my shop, like $3 because it's not sealed. It's it's opened up. So that's box three. Box three was pretty good. Uh, out of the first couple items, it was probably about 150 bucks. Once everything else, we'll just lowball box three and we'll just say box three is probably about $150. We'll just, we'll just lowball it, okay? So, yeah, so the first three boxes, We'll just lowball it and say probably about it. You know, let's just say like 550 for the first three boxes. And my investment was $121. So we're doing really good on this. So fourth and final box. Keep this going. So far, this has been one of the best toy pallets that I've gotten it's quite a while. Like the best time to buy toy liquidations is around like January through February because after Christmas time you get a lot of liquidated Christmas toys and a lot of those toys are brand new in the package because little Joey and Martha don't want their toys and the parents return the toys to Amazon and you get a lot of brand new toys in like January February actually all the way up and through about March let me show you box number four looks like a very clean box I don't see any of any more of those Marvel Titan Hero series boxes but I got two of them so far so I don't see another one. It's a very large, I have it right here next to me still, very large box, so it would stick out in this one if I had one, I don't see one. So first thing, got this little thing right here. And it works. So that's about, packages on this thing is kind of beat up actually. I'll probably resell shop that for about five bucks. What is this? Ooh, this is some kind of a collectible toy right here. It's a Figma, Overwatch, Max Factory, Masaki, Apsi. Whoa, hold on a minute. This is some kind of a collectible toy. A lot of these Japanese toys like this can get very expensive. Let me look this thing up real quick. This might have some value to it. Be right back. Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing sells on Amazon for $69.95. It's called the Good Smile Overwatch Genji Figma Action Figure by Good Smile. Whoa, this is a $70 collectible action figure. Yeah, I knew when I saw the packaging and like it looks like the Japanese writing on the back of it, you automatically know as a reseller that this thing has some value to it. Because toys like this can get very expensive. I mean, some of these get into the hundreds of dollars. So this is freaking awesome. Packaging on this is pretty good. Um, I bet it goes for up at least $50, $60. Um, of course, if anybody wants to buy any of these toys in this, hit me up. Direct links to hit me up are below in the description box, email, social media, hit me up, and I'll send you a PayPal direct invoice to, to buy anything you want. So everything's for sale. Um, but yeah, the Overwatch, that thing's nice. You know, that's $70 new. This is a very good toy liquidation with a lot of cool collectibles. Uh, dollar box. Next, we've got a Jurassic Park. The toy is up in there. It's taped in the top of it. It's a Indoraptor. Looks, oh, it looks like one of his legs, one of his legs is broken off. It might be fixable, it just might have just popped off of the dinosaur. I'll have to look at that thing later. Um, if it's fixable, probably about 10 bucks in my shop. If it's not fixable, I'll probably dollar box it the way it sits. I won't know until I look more in depth. Next, Pop Up Pirate. Uh, my resale shop, five bucks. Bubble Hurricane, resale shop, five bucks. Ooh, here's a Pokemon Go Plus. 
These used to sell for around $30. Used to. Is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. It's all wrapped up still. Uh, used to sell for around $30. Uh, I bet you now probably about maybe 15 to 20. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Right now this box is easily, what, $100 box right now. Here's a pool float. Probably about five bucks in my shop. I had to air it up first, make sure it holds air. Next we have a mini Disney Junior. Oh, it's a sleeping bag. There's a the picture of it right there. That's probably at least probably 15, 20 bucks right there. Nice. Then we've got, oh, a swimway, little baby pool float. It's probably about 15 bucks in that range. Keep going. Another little baby float, probably about five bucks. Tommy Tippy, these sell for about $10, $15 if it's new. That's used. So my shop about five bucks. Just some random plug-in stuff. It says print, oh, it's like a nightlight. A princess nightlight looks like it projects something onto the wall. That's a good dollar box item, nothing special. Meme Park, oh, it's a watch. Meme Park smartwatch. Has no brand to it. I guess the brand's Meme Park. I don't know. That might have maybe like $10, $20 maybe. It might be more than that. I don't know. Maybe, possibly. Last thing in this box. It is a tablet of some kind. It's got a camera. It's got a tablet. Tablet Express. Last thing, let's look up real quick, hold on. Finally found it. After looking at the back of this thing for quite a while, this is called the Dragon Touch Future One 720p Baby Monitor. And it retails for about $106. I can only find it used. So it must have been like, it was being made by the brand Dragon Touch that must have gone out of business or something. I can't find it new anywhere. Obviously, and this one's used. So it sells you used on Amazon for $106. So here's a $100 tablet that has to do with a little baby monitor. And here's a tablet to watch your baby on. So here's another $100. So this fourth box, that Overwatch figure, that's 70. This thing's 100. There's 170. Everything else here, this last box, this fourth box was $200 box. With the first three boxes, at least, let's just say 550 so all four boxes was a minimum of about $750. Wow. So my $121 investment has turned into easily $750. I did not expect that on this box. I did not expect it. I mean, on, on this pallet of four boxes. Was not expected. I was expecting maybe $400 did not expect $750 back. That's like a minimum. I, got, I, I might get more for it, you know, my, it, it might be a little bit less than that. That's just an estimation of maybe what I'll get. But I think $750 is a very good estimation of my return once I sell everything in these four boxes. So this is the truth of what you can get in a liquidation, like toys palette, which was toys and collectibles. And this one had quite a bit of really cool collectible, like collectible figurines and Marvel action figures. Like if you're a collector, this liquidation palette would have been fantastic for you to get all kind of cool collectibles. So this was a blast. The child inside of me came out full steam a few times during, during, during this video. You saw the child come out of me seeing some of these cool collectibles. So you know what? Um, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Keep in mind, this Friday night, I'm having an electronics palette. It is, I think it's like three three boxes. I haven't unboxed it yet. I haven't gotten to those yet. But I think it's three boxes. I paid over $400 for them. And it's over $2,000 of value. They're supposed to be, from what my liquidator said, some pretty high-end stuff in it. Hence why I had to pay over $400 for these boxes. I don't like paying that much for my liquidation palettes. But I did this time. Hopefully to get some really cool stuff. And I'm doing a giveaway on Friday. The first like few minutes of the video, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, do the giveaway on, how to enter the giveaway. It's just kind of like a giving back to you guys for subscribing 
and for helping my channel grow so quickly. I'm gonna give back some of these items that you've seen in the pallet videos the past few weeks. I'm gonna give them right back for free. Free shipping, everything, back to you guys. So make sure watch this Friday's video for a cool palette and I'm giving away free stuff. So thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, comment below, hit me up social media, email direct links to contact me is in the, the description box if you wanna buy anything or hit me up with any kind of questions. Thanks for watching and I'm out. Hey, no, no.